Welcome back to What Are Tea Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the ELC Ever 90. It's a tier 8 French premium light tank. It's located on the south spawn of Prokhorovka and it's under the command of I Need Coffee Dude. Now, this little light tank is part of the uh, ELC project, the Engine Le Jeu de Combat, which is a light tank, a light fighting vehicle, which was originally intended to be a tank destroyer actually, but it was also spent, supposed to be air transportable so that they could uh, use it and take it out with the French troops whenever they went out to the French colonies in Africa or anywhere around the world and to act as their fighting support if they came across any enemy vehicles. It's got a 90mm gun with an autoloader three shots, capable of 220 alpha, penetrating 175mm of armour with the standard and 215 with the premium rounds, so only capable of doing 660 hit points of damage straight off, but it does have very good camo qualities this tank, in fact it's incredibly difficult to see for the enemy and he spotted an E75 TS already, our teammates haven't got around to shooting him yet, but he will be picking up spotting assists as soon as damage is done. Now the enemy will have to get really close to detect this little thing. Either that or they have to spot a reference point. He actually does have one of his reference points exposed. That's the one at the rear. The one at the side I think is covered by the bush. So I think he's safe. And the E75TS is the only one he spotted so far. Now, a lot of people, when they brought this thing out, thought, why is Wargaming selling a vehicle which has got such a terrible reload? It does have a very long reload. It's 29.37 seconds for an entire clip. And that's a long time for a tank like this. Very long, especially if it's only three shots. Three shots is normally not enough to actually kill all the enemy tanks. And Oh my gun, look who's detected it. Back chat 12 ton. He dies very quickly at T69. And there's that E75. Oh, no, it's, it's a back chat 25 TAP, the tier 9 medium. He spotted a lot. Just by moving forward a few yards, he's getting spots on enemy tanks on the other side of the center line as well. In fact, actually now an E75 was driven up behind him, so he's having to move forward, because if he doesn't, the E75 is going to be the one spotting. He's got very close, and there's the wreck of that batch at 12 ton. The thing about this tank is that once you're actually in those bushes, you just have to grip the sides of your chair and hold on for dear life because shells are whizzing past both sides of your vehicles at both sides of your vehicle at the same time and it can be very disconcerting to see these high caliber rounds going past because if one of them hits you rather if one of the enemy one hits you then you could die very quickly obviously your own sides rounds are not going to do you any damage at all now they've taken out the game well, that Bat 25 TAP, I think he's had enough of being shot at. And, whoa, that round landed very, very close to him. And I'm not sure if that was one of his own side or the enemy. Okay, there's that Bat 25 TAP. He's on his last legs. Lots of damage. He's now got up to 8.3k of spotting assist. The Bat 25 TAP is gone which means he can now move even closer to the enemy. I mean, he's really, really getting far into enemy territory. It's basically just the mouse and object 257 ahead of him, and he's getting incredibly close to them. Really close. And I'm thinking he's going to get some more spotting. Well, there's more. Yep, nine and a half K of spotting now. It's a massive total. And there goes the 257. So he's now just short of 10k of spotting. Just short. One shot on that mouse should be enough to earn him what he needs. Oh, he's been hit. He's been hit in the tracks by the strip. But I think the shot 
was actually meant for the E100 and hit him by mistake. I don't think he's been spotted. And there goes the mouse, and he got the spotting, or some spotting, so he's now over 10k, 10.3, and he's now spotting the enemy over the other side of the battlefield. It's a 60 TP over there, the Striv, by the railway line. I think he's going to go active now. He might as well. This game's going to be over momentarily. There's only six enemies left. Now he doesn't want to go into the cap circle because that will make the enemy realise there's somebody very, very close to the cap. I think he's just going to skirt the edge so that nobody actually puts their gun in his direction. He hasn't been damaged yet at all, only the uh, shell that hit him in the tracks. There are some enemy tanks over there, but I just don't think he wants to actually engage those guys just yet. He's now up to just shy of 12k of spotting. He's now engaging the T-54 first prototype. He's spotting him. Hasn't opened fire on him yet, but he is a one-shot. Oh, now he's gone for it. And he gets a kill. And that is the last kill of the game. Oh my god, with one shell still left in the chamber. He only fired two rounds. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. And here's the end of battle results. And it's a first ace tanker for I Need Coffee Dude in the ELC Ever 90. You also got a spotter badge for spotting at least a thousand hit points of damage. A patrol dude who've been the only one spotting six enemy tanks whilst they were damaged. And he also got a scout medal for detecting at least nine enemy tanks. And this is what we call the Holy Trinity. Getting all these badges meant you did your job as a scout perfectly and managed to de detect enough enemy tanks to enable your team to win. Let's have a look at team score. Well, when it comes to damage, he's right down at the bottom of the table. And he's not the bottom because there are three enemy tanks who actually, or four enemy tanks, three that got zero damage and only one that got slightly less than, uh, than I Need Coffee Dude. He only got 133 hit points, but I Need Coffee Dude got 169. The high scorer was the E100 that accompanied him for some of the way. He got 3,565 hit points. The other E100 got 3,549. When it came to kills, it was shared between the E100, the Wizzy 1201 GFT, the E50 and the Striv S1 on his own team. Nobody on the enemy team managed to get more than one kill. In fact, only one tank actually got a kill at all in that game. When it came to base XP, he's right at the top with 1,573 base. The only player over 1,000. The next scorer being the Wizzy 1201 GFT with 932, followed by the E50 with 866. If we look at the detail, we can see he only fired two shots, got two direct hits, but only one penetrated. The other shot hit the tracks. Damage of 169 hit points, all of it at close range. One hit received. It was a non-penetration. That was a shot from the Striv, went into the tracks and was eaten by them. He spotted nine enemy vehicles, damaged one of the enemy, killed one of the enemy, and did 12,522 hit points of spotting assist and basically won the, the game for his team by being so far forward that he could spot all of the enemy team on the west side of the map and allow his team to do huge amounts of damage. He earned 170,148 credits from that game and after resupply of ammunition and consumables and well there wasn't much ammunition to re re resupply he actually ended up with a profit of 129,588 credits altogether 2,359 XP 18,880 for completing a mission 236 for this being a premium vehicle took away 21,475 credits altogether. I'm going to go and trade this mouth in for another one because I just don't seem to be able to enunciate my words tonight. What a fantastic game. The win eight was very, very small, 265, but that's because spotting is not counted by the win eight formula. It's damage and kills. So uh, you wouldn't actually get anything for this battle except for the damage he did to that T-54 first prototype. 
But other than that, he did win the game, and 12,000 damage is a huge amount. It's incredibly difficult to get an ace tanker in the ELC ever 90, because everyone plays it, and most people are very, very good in it. The standard is very high. So to get his first ace tanker in this game, well... More kudos to I Need Coffee Do because he got it because he was far, far forward of his team, allowing them to get easy kills on the enemy. I hope you enjoyed that replay. If you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. Thank you for watching.